Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Today has been a big day for Infinite Warfare, a bunch of stories on that today, but before we kick things off, I'd appreciate the heck out of you if you can smash that thumbs up button down below. Thank you so much for your support on yesterday's video as well, guys. I really do appreciate that. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into our first story of the day. For the last month to the day, we have been searching for the Ghosts and Skulls 2 Easter egg in Rave in the Redwoods. Nobody was able to nail down exactly what the first step of the Easter egg was. We had some people get it by mistake, or at least not exactly know the method of how they got that first skull earlier this month, but yesterday was the first day that people started to understand the first step to the Ghosts and Skulls 2 Easter egg. Once that was understood, as most of these Easter eggs are, where their first steps are really convoluted and weird, the rest of it seemed to flow a lot easier. Meaning, late last night we got the first completion of Ghosts and Skulls 2 by Smart Guy 316. He's keeping his Ghosts and Skulls record. He was first in the world to get it in Spaceland. He's first to get it here in Rave as well. Easter egg has been completed. We think. If you guys notice on Smart Guy's screen, in the bottom left hand corner, there appears to be a Ghosts and Skulls skull. This is generally what we're calling the skull token. As far as we can tell, it's something that can only be really beneficial in a co-op game. And what it is, is usually once you're in a co-op game, you go down three times, you're not going to be able to go back into the Afterlife Arcade and immediately get back into the map. This lets you do that. But it doesn't seem to have any benefit in solo. So what people are saying is... Is there something else we can do with this skull token? Is there a second part to this easter egg? And people are pointing to some information Lee Ross gave on his Twitter account a while ago. Back on February 16th, Lee Ross said, Where are all the Ghosts and Skulls 2 videos? And you people said we made things too easy in Raven the Redwoods. Sydney Bird then responded, Maybe if you made the easter egg hard, people would still be looking. But what do you achieve from Ghosts and Skulls 2? All perks? Wow. Obviously being sarcastic here, Lee Ross responded by saying, Is that what you think? Oh, you're gonna miss out. So because of this, people think, well, there's gotta be more than just all the perks you get from completing Ghosts and Skulls 2. Well, we did complete it, we did get all the perks, and now we're left with this skull token thing. I've seen some people on Reddit saying, well, if this is the reward or difference he's talking about, I I'm very disappointed. But, who knows, there still might be a second part to the easter egg that we don't know about. I would assume because the game's come out on PC, if there is a second part, maybe those miners will get to work and will have a general answer on if or if not there is a continuation fairly soon. God, I do feel sorry for you Xbox and PC guys though. I mean, you just got the map, there was one big easter egg that you still could have worked on, solved with the community, and it gets solved just as the map's coming out on your platform. That freaking sucks, man. Now moving on to our second story of the day guys, Infinity War tweeted this out, PC players grind and rank up with double XP, double weapon XP, double keys until Monday, March the 6th. And that's to make up for an event that the consoles got, but the PCs didn't get for whatever reason, so this is basically making it up to them with this triple two times combo. It's gonna be sick. I'm still hoping that there's some easter eggs within Raven the Redwoods that we don't even know exist yet. It'll give PC and Xbox players something to look forward to, something to help search for, and I think we're probably gonna get answers on whether or not there is soon because of the PC players data mining the contents of the update. Usually when and if they do data mine these things, I've found in the past they generally just show the end result of an easter egg. They don't necessarily give you the steps to do it, or really any more information like that so there is still an obvious hunting component if the game is data mined but i do want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll see you with another zombies news update tomorrow okay.